I will be creating a stick-bound journal utilizing rusted elements. A lot of the papers and the fabric that I am utilizing to create these signatures was rusted with iron, water, and vinegar. A lot of the paper was also created in my coffee cup prompts. I'll link that below. The stencil that I'm utilizing today in a continuation of the coffee cup prompt to support the people that have joined my Facebook group or supported my channel was designed by Paula Keen. She calls it Rune Blocks. You can purchase it over at PM Artist Studio. We are going to create this little 4 inch by 5 inch journal utilizing that stencil today. I'm Peg. I call my channel 2 Old Crows Mixed Media. To give you a little more information about that stencil, here is what that stencil actually looks like. Once again, Paula Keen is the designer. PM Artist Studio produces it. You can pick it up for a 10% discount on an order of $35 or more by using the code PEGFAN10. I'm using some steel wool and I want to experiment with the rust and see if the rust will pick up the design of that stencil. I thought that the plain white paper would not make an, a very attractive background, so I shall coat my paper with some parchment colored acrylic ink, and I'm just picking that up off my gel press. I have three done. I've allowed them to dry. I'll lay the stencil down on the parchment background and I'm shredding that steel wool and I'm going to completely cover this stencil. Now the experiment here is will the Yupo paper resist the rust? I'm hoping that it does and I'm also going to recommend that when working with the steel wool you wear gloves. It is tiny pieces of steel. White vinegar in a bottle and I'm saturating the steel wool and I really got it wet. It's I when I mean when I say saturated I wanted every little piece of steel to be wet. I'm putting a second sheet of paper down and another deli sheet on top. So I have a sandwich and I've allowed it to set under weight overnight. Deli paper, parchment coated paper, stencil, paper, deli paper underweight for 24 hours and look at the rust color that we're getting the bleed through from but the yupo paper the that the stencils are made out of that pm artist studio utilizes to make their stencils has resisted the rust and i think this is fabulous i i am really happy with the way it turned out it did not destroy my stencil i pulled the steel wool off of that went to the water spigot and <laughs> outside and rinsed my my stencil off completely and it is 100 percent usable it does not harm the stencil so I'm going to set all these rusted papers aside. I did use those in that opening screen to cut them into signature size pages, but let's get the book cover done first. I'm taking that rune block print and just tearing it into half, in half. It was an eight and a half inch by 11 inch sheet of paper. And I've I want to just get it so I don't have a lot of waste because I, I really like this print and I think it would be great in a future collage or in the decoration of this journal. I want to adhere that without tearing the paper or creating bubbles and I'm utilizing Yes Paste to accomplish that. I have that pasted down. We'll do the second one. I'm just spreading the Yes Paste with my hotel key card to make sure I get that nice and thin and the chipboard fully saturated. And now I'll angle off those corners, fold those over, and get the edges pasted down. Or get the fold over edges pasted down. I'm just using my finger to spread the glue. 
now and that yes paste dries clear it is sticky and if you don't have yes paste and you want to purchase some you can go to the link in my description of my Amazon store and most of the things I use a lot you'll find on my in my Amazon shop. I do make a small commission off of that, but it doesn't increase your price at all. I am coating the cover, front and back cover now with the Mod Podge hard coat just to protect that rust. And now they have dried, so I'm flipping them over. I'm pulling out my glue and water mixture now, and I have cut some of that deli paper that we rusted with the steel wool into four inch by five inch sheets. And I will adhere that and make that my inside front cover and my inside back cover. And I wanted to just get this edge to edge. I did adhere it down with the glue and water mixture. Then I allowed that to dry, um, coated it, coated the chipboard, and then coated over the top of it once again. Then I went back, and any place that it was not totally adhered to the edges, I used a little glitter glue and just kind of went around the outside edge just to make sure that there was nothing that would ever um, come up. So now we have the front cover, the back cover done. You saw me do the signature, put the signature together in the opening um, comments. I used duck cloth that had been saturated in rust water that is what I use for my signature covers and then just sheets of the rusted paper and you'll see all of that in the end. I'm now measuring and cutting some sticks in that five inch length and using my sanding block to sand off any dirt, um, loose bark, etc. I'm also trimming off any real jagged extrusion from those sticks so I have a very smooth piece that I can use. I used the sanding block and then I went to just a fine grade sandpaper just to get everything nice and smooth. And I'm going to lay those. This is kind of how those are going to look. I'm going to attach those to the end of each signature. The sticks are going to be sewn to the signatures. And then the signatures will be bound into the book with a piece of canvas fabric. And I'll show you how I do that in a minute. But first, let me heat up some wax and let's coat these sticks. And I'm going to put just a very fine coat of wax over this front cover and back cover. Number one, the wax is not going to fuse deeply into this because I've already used a hard coat Mod Podge. I've already used an acrylic paint. So this is just more for the shine than it is for anything else. So this is not a fused encaustic art piece so let's I, I don't need those comments down below um, the sticks I am protecting with the encaustic medium and I am just brushing it on and coating it and I will fuse that with my heat gun into the wood and I did um, go over the front and back cover 
with the heat gun to kind of lay that wax into place on top of that piece. I have cut some rusted cheesecloth into strips and I went to wrap each of these stick sticks into or oh my goodness I want to wrap each of these sticks with the rusted cheesecloth now I can say it and I think this adds just a little bit more interest it also protects your hand from that stick there aren't any rough spots on it but just for extra security now I have torn off some of the canvas duck rusted fabric into the one inch sticks that is what I want to use to bind all of these signatures to the front and the back cover so stick with me and I'll show you how I'm going to do that so first things first let's sew the sticks to the signature I have some waxed linen thread that I'm utilizing. I just picked a uh, off-white color. I'm going through the center hole and I will go around the stick and back through the same hole. I want to make sure it is nice and taut and in the position where I want it to rest before I tie this off into a knot. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's just open that up, pull that straight up to avoid ripping the paper, just to make sure it's nice and taut, and then tie it off into a knot. And I am going to do that in the top placement and the bottom placement as well. So there will be three positions in each signature that I have gone around the stick. So now I'm going to go back through the top. Once I have this all tied off and secure, now I'll go back through that top and tie, do the same thing on the top. Then I'll turn around and do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to do that on all three signatures. So once the sticks are adhered, I'll take that canvas and thread it through those sticks. So you can see where I've just laid that front cover into place and I have that canvas threaded through the top attachment and the middle attachment of that stick. And I'll just pull that tight there we go both are in place and then we'll get them through each and every signature and then glue this down on the front so you can see that I've put all three signatures together put pulled the canvas through that top sewn stick position and the middle sewn stick position and now I'm gluing the front into place I'll let that dry I'll let that set up and then flip it over and we'll add the back cover I have a lot of a lot of little string that I'm pulling off of here so now we put that back cover into position and these are obviously way too long and and there's two schools of thought here I can take these and glue them entirely across the back and then loop them over on the inside like that 
or I can trim them off and just glue them right there and that's what I've decided to do. So we'll trim that off and then we'll fray the edges of those so they have that same little frayed appearance. And glue those into place and I'm using glitter glue to to glue to my cover putting it on my binding first and then gluing it down and there that is such an easy way to bind that book with sticks now I have all this leftover string so I think that could actually look quite good on the front cover of this, but I need a little rusty element to lay on top of it. So I am going for my can of rusted washers. And I think I have found one that will work perfectly in this position. So let me adhere some glue to the front of the book. I'll lay my threads down and I have the washer that I found in my can and we'll stick that down. And then I have a second one that is a little lighter but has some of that rust color on it that I think will look really good on top. I've also marked that washer with some texture as well. So I think that adds quite a bit of interest to the front of this book. So I hope that you have enjoyed the making of this and once again that stencil is designed by Paula Keen. You can find it over at PM Artist Studio and I highly recommend that you go over there. These UPO stencils I've been using over the last uh, four or five weeks and I have found that they are just wonderful to work with. So here is a look at this finished piece. Once again the stencil by Paula Keen and the videos for the creation of some of these papers. I have the horsehair paper in here. I have some string paper in here, rusted paper and so forth. You can find those in my coffee cup prompts during the month that we made paper. I will also invite you over to my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media on Facebook where a lot of the creatives that watch my channel meet, swap things out on a monthly basis and they would love to have you over there I'm sure. And I shall say bye for now. If you stick around until the end screen you will, you will see a link to all of the coffee cup prompts right here.